So the next concept we want to cover is domain. I've already used this term a couple times. Um, domains are really kind of the, the, the big level blocks that we use to define uh, uh, master data. So um, we have some example categories of domains. So um, one common domain a lot of people uh, look to manage with MDM is customer domain. And customers could be individuals. They could be uh, you know, individual people, consumers, if you will. They could also be uh, businesses as well, that you, so depending on whether you're a B2B or B2C organization. Um, but then there's other flavors of, of customer or entity type domains that are out there. Um, likewise, products is the other most common domain uh, that people look to manage within MDM. Uh, and these could be products themselves, how those products are made, the bill of materials, um, different assets. Um, so there's a lot of different flavors of product data, whether you're on the buy side or the sell side um, side of product. Um, and then there's a lot of other domains. So locations is another common category of domains. So agencies, branches, if you have, uh, you know, uh, for a couple real life examples, hospitals, all their various facilities and floors and rooms, um, those could all be locations that are being managed within an MDM solution. And then you have the other bucket. Um, uh, you know, the other bucket could comprise any number of domains. They may be specific to a given industry. So um, in insurance, you might be looking to manage uh, providers and members. Um, in healthcare, it might be patients and facilities and procedures. Um, there's lots of other uh, ancillary domains that are typically industry-related industry um, that organizations potentially look to uh, manage within an MDM solution.